Gangsta, uh, you you say you know you was you was you know banging the GD back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it's obvious that rap has been infiltrated by the gangs, right? With, the, with right, the young folks, right? Do you feel like uh, that the gangs have messed up the rap with the young boys now, from all the murders from one click to the next, mm. or do you feel like that? It could be our culture could still be savage with the gangs having input in it. I think it could be savage if it's the right message that they putting in it, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got so much of this drill music and a lot of these other rappers that's not really from the drill scene, but they kind of copycatting what they hear because this is what's the the new hype or what's out there. Mm-hmm. So. A lot of people just being followers and just saying a lot of shit that they probably really ain't done or probably really ain't live. Right. So that's what a misconstrued get at. Like, you got a lot of, let me say this about GD. GD's is not a gang. It's okay. an organization, first right. of all. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we ain't dealing on no gang level. We ain't out there talking about doing the gang shit that a lot of other folks be rapping about and trying to put that on us or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you got so many followers out there that's doing what they hear and what they see other people do to it make it seem like that's all they're about. And that ain't all what, it, what it's about. So I feel like if we got some real leaders in the gangs, as whatever gang you repping, Crip, Blood, whatever the set is, mm-hmm. if you speaking positive, if you can look back on these young boys and tell them, hey, I lived that life. I done been through that. This ain't what it is. This was going to get you this, did the third, and kind of put some positive in them. I think then the two can connect. Right. Right. But mm-hmm. if you still just living on that same get the gun, kill this, do this, do that type of shit, then it's gonna be destroyed. As 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 a as a you know, as a G D, you know, from back in the day, I don't know if you still act or not, but mm-hmm. do you think that the the different gangs the can actually work together in business to make money and to further the culture in rap? Um, and, and I'm going to give you a case in point. Um, uh, T.I. and Boosie was supposed to get ready to drop an album. Right. Right? Right. Mm-hmm. But because Boosie felt like Tip had said something about a dead uncle or blah, 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 mm-hmm. he said, well, I'm standing on my boards. You know, I'm standing on my, my you know, my goal. I ain't, so I'm not doing it. Right. Mm-hmm. Do you think that, you know, th- like, would you do, a, you know, a song with a rapper that was just as big as Tip, but he was a blood or he was... You know, whatever your rival gang was, would you would you would you let your gang and the principal of the street and we don't deal with them stop you from doing it in rap? Should that be brought in to rap the street shit? That's a hard one. Because street and business is kind of two different things. You know what I'm saying? Like we bring the streets into a business. If if I'm cool with the blood and we and we got a business opportunity to make some money. I don't think that's me going outside of my street culture or my gang culture to get money with them if we just doing it if we doing it for a bigger cause. But wouldn't your wouldn't your gang look at it like that? Would would the the young gist that's coming up up under you would they view that like that man? OG, he over there fucking with the ops. I mean, maybe if it was a situation where we was beefing with them cats, gotcha. like if we was beefing with them cats and it's a known beef and. My little partners and his little partners don't get along type shit. You know what I'm saying? So maybe I look at it different then because we know they the ops. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if we don't have no dealings for our ass, we never beef. We never had any kind of bad dealings. But I'm on this side and you on this side. But we see an opportunity for us to make some money and make something better. Mm-hmm. Then I don't think it should be a problem. <laughs>